What's up guys, Time Reaction here. April last year bought the refresher version of the iPhone 8 to market with a reduced price tag and it was named the iPhone SE second generation or just the iPhone SE 2. It was a phone of great demand because of its price tag and that price tag thing is not the pricing in India but in the US and some other markets. But fast forward to the present, well even though the official Indian pricing of the SE 2 hasn't changed much, we can now always buy it under the 30,000 Indian rupees price range from Flipkart. So that's a much better pricing, it is kind of matching the initial US pricing. But even then, is the iPhone SE 2 a good option for 2021? But this video is all about that. Now without dragging around, let me get it straight. Whenever I use an iPhone SE 2, I always love the form factor and the user experience because I do prefer compact phones. But then the main issue for me with the iPhone SE 2 is just one thing, and it's the battery life. So even now, that's a big issue if you're planning to buy the iPhone SE 2. This is not a phone for heavy users or even average users. This is basically for the ones who are not constantly hooked up to their phones. It's perfect if you're a light user and also maybe a very average user can get through. Because here the screen on time based on average usage for me while running iOS 14 was in the 3 to 3 and a half hour range. So that's the first and foremost thing if you're planning to buy this iPhone SE 2 for 2021. You should know what type of a user you are and it's based on the usage your decision should be easy. But then there might be a group of users who may plan to use the iPhone SE 2 as a secondary phone or a phone to experience just the Apple exclusive stuff. And for such users, I think this iPhone SE 2 is a great option. Because for this price tag, what you're getting with the iPhone SE 2 is basically a phone that will last almost four to five years based on software support. And also this camera system is one of the best in this segment. And I feel that's the main key highlight with the iPhone SE 2. It still has top-notch performance and hence let it be normal task or heavy stuff like gaming, they do work flawlessly. The phone tends to get hot while playing games for an extended period of time but it's not gonna spoil the experience since there is no throttling issues. Last year's Apple's flagship processor which is the Apple A13 Bionic chip is surely gonna last well for many more years and that's surely a great plus point for the iPhone SE 2. And here even though the RAM in paper is just 3GB, I didn't face RAM management issues and it was always like 6 apps do stay open in the background. And about the storage, well it's a typical iPhone options where the base variant just has 64GB which is an expected non-expandable one and yet this base storage is not the one that I'll recommend but instead of this you should surely go for the 128GB variant because if you don't get that then the phone won't be lasting that much in terms of storage. And here as you can see there is just a single camera on the back but for me I think if this single shooter is a great one I can manage with it. And yet this camera is a 12 megapixel wide angle one which has an aperture of f1.8. The specifications of this camera looks a bit dull and it's almost comparable with the iPhone 8's camera but here the improvement is because of the core controller which helps with the processing. And I have to say that the processing done by the A13 chip and Apple software is still impressive. Shots taken in good lighting looks like it's been captured with a flagship phone. There is sharpness and proper detailing and also the dynamic range is good. The overall scene does have a natural look with just the hint of the extra punch and for taking photos in good lighting, this phone is still a little damp. But then when the light fades, the shots does tend to get soft and also you will lose details. And since there is no night mode support, if it's a pitch dark scene, don't even think of taking a pic. But then you have the option to use a third party app to get night mode option, but then that's like spending extra. And about the portrait photos this phone captures, well it's not great, but still I am happy that such kind of an option is here. But then what's great with this camera system is without doubt the videos captured. If you are buying a phone in this price range just to take videos, well then this is the top performer for that. Video recording option maxes out at 4K 60fps with extended dynamic range support up to 30fps and here even now which is almost like a year after this phone's launch, well the videos this phone takes are still excellent. You can use this as a main camera for YouTube or shooting cinematic style videos because the video output is crisp with not much issues in exposure and also the stabilization is just perfect. So that's the rear camera situation for 2021 and about the front camera, well it's an okay one for photos and a good option for videos. The sensor is a 7 megapixel one with aperture f2.2 and here even though you can take portrait selfies, the overall outcome is sharp and fine when the lighting is perfect. I mean if it's like an outdoor scene with good light available then there is no need to complain about the selfies and that's it. In any other scenarios, the selfies are not that good. And for videos also, the same lighting thing is applicable but then in such a situation, the videos which can be maxed out at 1080p 30fps are crisp and stable with no focusing issues and hence it can be used as a vlog clip. Well, it's from all this that I did mention that the iPhone SE 2's camera system is still top in the list for the segment. You're not gonna be disappointed with these two things and actually another area in which you will be more impressed is the form factor and the build quality. It's a perfectly built phone. 
The front and back glass joins with precision with the aluminium frame and even now the phone is holding great. The dimensions of this phone is great for one handed usage and yet the compact nature of the phone always gives me the confidence to use the phone without a case. I mean I do love this curved sides and I think I like this form factor much more than the form factor of the iPhone 12 mini. This curved side does make the phone a bit slippery because there is lesser area to hold but then there is this more natural thing where the phone comfortably fits in in the palm of your hand and that's the reason I did state that I'm always confident to use the iPhone SE 2 without a case. And also the weight balance is done well and here like I said, I love this form factor and the build quality. All buttons still work fine and here the only port which is the lightning port is also holding well. So that's all great but then about this design, well overall there isn't anything to complain but when you check the front, it looks very dated. I don't think there is any other phone selling right now which has such big bezels. This is a proper 2016 stuff and here because of such big bezels, the display is not a big one. It's just a 4.7 inch display which for 2021 is a tiny one. And for me who is currently daily driving the iPhone 12 mini, this display felt to be more cramped. The display area is less and hence if you are planning on watching videos or playing games which needs two or three fingers, well then the experience is not enjoyable. I'm not talking about the display's quality because even though in paper it looks bad, well while using it, the quality is good. This is a great LCD panel with neat viewing angles and also the sharpness is decent with sufficient peak brightness. But then like I said, these things doesn't matter much if you plan to make this phone your main media machine. I mean this display size was big when the iPhone 6 launched but right now every one of us has got used to bigger displays and it might be that perception that makes it feel like this display is best suited for texting or browsing through social media or to play a casual game or maybe to watch a short YouTube video. Because for anything beyond that, well most of us do prefer bigger screens and hence that's also a thing to keep note of. But like I said at the beginning, this phone's main drawback does string the user base who will be interested in this phone and as I mentioned earlier, it can be a person who needs a secondary phone or maybe it's a person who wants a basic iOS device to experience the Apple exclusive thing like iMessage. And for them, this display size will probably be of no concern. And here another plus point with the iPhone SE 2 is the IP60 zone rating and here the Bluetooth version is 5, then there's Wi-Fi 6 along with NFC support which is an added advantage. And also the fingerprint scanner which is embedded in the home button is still an industry best unlocking system. And same is the case with the haptic feedback of this phone. Now here one key thing to notice that there is no 5G support and also by the way even though you can use two sims with this phone in which one sim should be a nano sim and the other eSIM, well I won't recommend that because it will drain the battery at a more quicker pace. And lastly about the audio output from this phone, well for the segment it falls into, it's good because this dual speaker system does output quality sound with adequate loudness and also the earpiece is a good one for calls too. And actually the call experience from this phone is perfect because of its form factor. So even now there are plenty of great stuff with the iPhone SE 2 but the main core issue of this phone does make the SE 2 a not so good option for the majority in 2021. But then if you are a person that falls into the segment that I mentioned before, well then for you this iPhone SE 2 is a bit pricey but a great choice. And I do feel that the iPhone SE 2 is only suited for such a small group of users, especially in 2021. That's all for this video guys, hope you liked it. So a like is much appreciated and a sub to the channel will be awesome. See you again in the next one, till then, bye.